Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotouch.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at making a simple logo design into a more complex side design that could be used for something like a banner, an advertisement, or maybe even a business card. So this is what our final effect looks like. I took the Nike logo and I made it into this. Here's the Nike logo right here and you want to use a logo design that's pretty simple you can use any logo as long as it's pretty simple and if you want to use this Nike logo then just scroll down and I put the link to the logo in the video description below so let's go ahead and get started uh, open up your logo design and make sure that it's plain black and the background is transparent like this logo next what we're gonna do is make two brushes out of this so to do that click on edit define brush preset and let's name it something like Nike or whatever brand your logo represents underscore auto and press OK. I've already gone ahead and made this in advance so I'm gonna click cancel and then again edit define brush preset and let's make our second brush this time let's name it Nike underscore manual and press OK. Now what we're gonna do is select the brush tool and make sure the Nike auto brush is selected then click on window and click on brush or F5 for the shortcut key. Now we're going to mess with some of the brush settings. Uh, your settings might be different. They might be different by a lot or they might be different by a little. Uh, if you're using the same Nike logo, then you might want to tweak the settings a little to fit your liking. If you're using a completely different logo, then you might need to tweak the settings a lot. So the first thing I'm going to change is the brush tip shape settings. I'm going to change the size to 100 pixels and the spacing to about 350%. Next, I'm going to click on Shape Dynamics and bring the size jittered all the way up to 100%. Next, I'm going to click on Scattering and bring the scattering all the way up to 1000%. I changed the count number to 6 and the count jitter to 100%. Next, what you want to do is find your opacity jitter. Um, I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS5 and it's labeled under Transfer. It might be labeled under something else if you're using a different version of Photoshop but you want to just find your opacity jitter and bring that up to 100%. And that's it, we're done with messing with this brush settings. Now we could go ahead and get started on the actual design. So I'm gonna hide this and click on File, New. And let's name this something like Nike Logo Add. I made the width 500 pixels and the height 400 pixels and press OK. I'm gonna drag this out and the first thing I wanna do is make the background black because I want my Nike logos to be white. So I'm going to change the color to black, select the paint bucket tool, and paint it black. Then change the color back to white, select the brush tool, and I'm going to make a new, a new layer, Command Shift N if you're on a Mac, or Control Shift N if you're on Windows. I'm going to name this layer Nike Logos 1, and press OK. Now this is where you watch the magic happen. It's very, very simple to do. Just click and drag from the top right hand corner to the bottom left hand corner. And just like that, you see Nike logos appearing. Now do this as much as you want, but don't add too many Nike logos. You want to add about half of what you want there. And once you have that added, make another layer, Command Shift N or Control Shift N, and I'm going to name this Nike Logos 2 and press OK. I'm going to drag this layer behind the Nike Logos 1 layer, and I'm going to add a couple more Nike logos. Now for these Nike logos, I want to click on Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur and I'm going to give these a Gaussian Blur of about 2.5 pixels and press OK. Now this picture has more depth to it. Some of the Nike logos are clear which means they're like right in front of you and the other ones that are blurry means that they're far away. So that adds a lot of depth to the image and now one last thing we could do to um, finish the effect is just uh, choose a text tool and I'm just going to type in Octotuts. If the, you're making this for your actual company, obviously you'd want to type your company name. I'm going to type Octotuts twice actually, once in a size 36 font, so it's a little bigger, and then I'm going to type it once more in a smaller font. Let's do size 30, type in Octotuts, and I'm going to bring the smaller font text in front of the bigger fonted one. And then I'm going to select the bigger fonted text layer. Uh, make the opacity 50%, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, press OK, and give it a blur of about 1.5 pixels, and press OK. 
now it says Octotuts um, in front with a smaller text and then it has another um, one behind it with the bigger text and that one's blurred out with the opacity of 50%. So it just adds to the effect and it matches with the Nike logos. And then one last thing you could do is if you, if you want more Nike logos, then just choose the brush tool and choose the Nike manual brush. And then this way you could just add Nike logos manually wherever you want them to go. So let's say there's an empty spot where there isn't a Nike logo, you could go ahead and add one right there. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. That's it for turning this simple logo design into something more complicated that could be used for banners, advertisements, business cards, and more. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys learned something today. Hope you could take this and apply it to your own image and make something cool like that. Don't be afraid to mess with the colors and settings and everything to make something a little different and see what you could come up with. And again, this is Octotouch.com, and until next time, I will see you guys later.